my understanding is uh, some of the returnees that are coming back, some of those 30,000 that we've said, are not just being um, picking up and moving to the Syrian border and being refused, but in Syria, uh, some of the people are actually being asked to leave because their, their, their stays are not welcome anymore for some reason. So they're also being forcibly ejected out of Syria. It's not just a matter of they're being politely, you know, refused at the board. That's right. They're, they're there and they're being kicked out of the country. And those people are also being counted as returnees by the U.S. government. They're not returnees by by chance. Right. No, that's. I'm glad you brought that up. That's a really good point, and it's happening everywhere now. Because I mean, Lebanon actually right now uh, the the constant uh, or, or the more recent focus because they're jailing detainees uh, in very very large numbers, and then. Uh, or, or giving people a choice, so you can go to jail or you can go back to Iraq. Um, so we're starting to see in just the last few months a really disconcerting trend of massive discrimination. And they're starting to be treated very, very poorly, which is similar to what happened to Palestinians after they were forced to flee their homes in 48, and then more of them after 67, where, you know, refugees, at first they're welcome in a country, and then after a while when, you know, it causes less jobs, it starts to strain the economy, crime goes up, this kind of thing, then the, the welcoming sentiment changes and they start to become uh, discriminated against in lots of ways, and that, that's exactly what's been happening. Okay. Now